Hey guys, sorry for the long hiatus. I've been busy with schoolwork and stuff like that. But in that meantime, I've picked up six different shoes, trying to get into a new style, not just Supras every day. Anyway, I hope you like my six new pickups, and let's get into them. So here are the Puma Clydes with the undefeated collaboration for the Microdot pack. This is the gray suede pair. Hopefully I can pick up the black pair soon enough, but let's get into the review. This is the Puma Clyde. Here the upper is this gray suede with this white Microdot pattern. You have the normal three stripes in a gray leather that is very good quality. Here you have Puma Clyde. Clyde was actually an NBA player and Puma sponsored him. And this is in a burgundy. You have a white outsole. It's actually a cup sole. Nothing on the tongue, just the micro dot pattern. You have thinner laces. Here's the undefeated logo with Puma. And you can actually lace your laces right under this tag, which I thought was pretty cool. Same on the medial as your out. Here on the back, you have this stripe, which is different from the Puma suede, which this shoe has the same silhouette as. Your Puma is slightly different, a little bit elongated. Let me show you the inside. Here on your tongue, you have your tag. And this is a mesh right here. But here you have this nice lambskin or pigskin leather with undefeated in Puma and burgundy as your bottom. And a throwback to the actual suedes. The suede has this back tab right here actually back out here so it's really cool to have it inside in a red color but yeah I really like these I have stuck to Puma when I was a little kid so it's nice to see the Clydes in a new different type of style so let's go on to the next shoe oh and I forgot to mention these shoes came with an extra pair of white laces they're white thin laces so I could lace them up with those as well Here's the shoe. You have a challenge red upper. You have mesh here on the toe box. You have a painted on kind of like midsole. The main midsole is in a pure platinum. Here you have a reflective silver 3M swoosh with the 3M underlay between this breathable mesh part. You have little perforations between the challenge red upper. Here's the back. Over here, this is Nike Free on the midsole, forgot to mention. Here on the other side, you have a 5.0 free midsole. But yeah, it's the main part of the shoe. Nike on the top right here, the silver for your own three. You also have a nylon inner. And finally you have the Nike Plus in the bottom. Let me take the sole out to show you. There you can place your Nike Plus unit. So yeah, this is a nice shoe. Actually wear them, the, the nice free technology. So yeah, let's get on to the next shoe. So here's one of my new dress shoes. Pick these up from Urban Outfitters. They're Hawkins McGill. Sand colored upper and Brogue stitching. As you know, Brogue stands for perforations and pieces within a whole shoe. Here on the toe cap, you have a perforated pattern with, I think, either cardboard or wood in the back. You have the wing tick design. You have rope laces on your tongue. Your tongue is not gusseted, so it can move around. Here on the inside, it says Hawkins McGill. You can get that. And the whole inside of the shoe is leather. So it feels nice when you're wearing them. Anyway, it's a nice shoe. I love wearing this out and dressing it up. Let's go on to the next shoe. So these are the Nike Lunar Flows in a woven quick strike pattern. This came out last year, picked them up real cheap at a Nike store. So let's get into the review. So here's the Lunar Flow. As you can see, it has that Lunar Lawn midsole as it gets its name. This name actually came from the Airflow, which came out a long time ago but the whole silhouette is based on the airflow. As you can see, it has this upper, which on the airflow, it's neoprene, neoprene here, neoprene here. 
There's another pair of the Lunar Flows that actually do have the neoprene, but this was a woven quick strike. The whole upper is made of this darker suede and this woven material, which has gold, teal, gray, and black throughout the upper. The whole sole is really nice. It has Nike Plus inside. It's super comfortable because this whole midsole is made out of Phylon. Here in the back you have Nike. On the tongue you have perforations and fat laces. Maybe if you can see that, it has Lunar Fur right there and Nike embossed. Here's the inside of the shoe with a Nike Plus unit. It has little impressions down there. But a cool thing about the shoe is designed in Beaverton, Oregon. As I said earlier, it's based on the Lunar Flow, and this is where the airflow came from as well. So there you go. Some quick history on it. Hope you guys like this woven shoe. Let's go down to the next one. So this is the Stebago Docksides Penny Boot. Based on the normal Docksides silhouette, now you have a penny overlay over the tongue, and it's in a boot construction. So the shoe features an all leather upper, as you can see, it's black on the front, black leather toe cap. Here you have patent leather over this penny strap, it's a black leather, as you can see here. On the back you have this black patent leather tab, with a little grip right there. Here on the inside, the other side of the leather, you have a nice leather sole, leather tongue, with your leather laces and you have black eyelets little Sebago tag your outsole with dock sides right there here on the bottom you have the boat kind of style outsole so that you can it's non-marking and it doesn't scuff anything anyway uh, I really like the shoe. It's a dressy shoe. Also, I like Sebago because they collaborate with people like Ronnie Feig. And I really like Ronnie Feig's style and all his collaborations. Anyway, let's get on to the next shoe. You would have never expected me to pick up something like New Balances because you might think they're like old man shoes. But if you actually notice, New Balances actually put out a lot of new shoes that people like. With the 574 mojitos i actually wanted to pick up a pair of 574s so i bought some cool thing about the new balance box so as you can see here you have new balance this is not actually on the front part of the box it's within the box right there i thought that was really cool you have this little grabbing part so cool thing about the shoe box anyway let's get into the shoes So here is the New Balance M574s. You can see there's an N with like a cardboard back pattern or cork, my bad. Here on the midsole, it's a white cream color. Then you have a navy end cap. The whole upper is made out of this navy suede and you have canvas on your toe box. You have wax laces on your tongue and then there's the canvas again. You have this kind of wheat colored contrast stitching, metal eyelets up here, normal just perforations for eyelets, your New Balance end, again your end cap, your cream sole, and then you have your New Balance back, it's made out of this cork like material, as you can see here, it has an NB, and here on the back you have New Balance with your trademark logo, here's a mesh tongue, I place the inner, I've actually put my Sky Top 2 insoles in here because it's a lot more comfortable. You have a wool inside, and then if you can actually look close enough, you have a neoprene inner. That neoprene is actually really soft, and it's really nice to wear. Here on the outsole, you have a gum bottom, which I actually like gum bottoms, and it's like a trail pattern. So it's great for like outdoor use and stuff like that, mainly why I bought it. And it's just a new cool shoe because New Balance has been stepping their game up and stuff like that. Anyway, these are the New Balance 574s, and the last pair that I have. I'll be doing on foot views later on and if you want a review I'll be putting reviews up. Make sure to check out my on sale video that I'll be doing at my 100,000 mark. I want to try to get rid of my Supras so stay tuned for that. Anyway, hope you guys liked my reviews and I'll see you guys later. Peace.